Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. This is my girlfriend, Alyssa. And this is my girlfriend, Lauren. And today we are talking about what to do if you have a crush on a friend. We've all been there. But before we get into the video, are you subscribed? Did you like this video? Did you comment, oh. are you two best friends? <laughs> because that's what I call love. <laughs> you have a crush on your friend. Did you ding that bell? Ding, ding, ding for post notifications because we post three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we post every day on shorts. Yeah, and on our socials. Mm-hmm. That's a little move. I love Take to do that. Look. It's so fun. I know, it's and fun. That's why I always do it. Take a look at our socials right up there. I think a good way to start would be like, have you ever had feelings for one of your friends, Lauren? Yeah, I exclusively, I'm a notorious friend dater. I'm jealous. Just kidding, uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you were a friend before we started dating. Yeah, 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 for two weeks. Yeah, for two weeks. <laughs> hey, two weeks is two weeks. It's not, we, we didn't, were mutuals. We were friends in that regard. Online friends. Like acquaintances. Acquaintances mm -hmm. at best. Mm -hmm. With our singular mm -hmm. exchange of messages yeah. years ago. Yeah. Um, but I love to meet someone and then decide I would like to date them rather than dating someone right off the bat. So I, I am a, I would say a, a chronic success story when it comes to it, mm -hmm. but I will put the disclaimer that all of my friends I've had crushes on have been queer. I've never had a straight girl crush. Yeah. Like a serious one. Mm -hmm. uh, not even really what I could consider. I don't know why I just really lucked out because I think having a straight girl crush is one of the most painful things yeah. you can probably well, go through as a little girl kisser. I think for you, like you are so, your identity is so tied to your lesbianism yeah. that I feel like in your life, not not even just sexually, you were just attracted to other queer people. I am. I just I like there's like a vibration. Like a magnet. Like I want to be your friend. I mm -hmm. want to spend time with you. I want to mm -hmm. hang out with you if you're mm -hmm. queer. And I don't really have that draw towards straight women. Yeah. Like I love women. Girls yeah, grow yeah, yeah. all the way. I love you. Support you. It's but just a different sort of connection. It's just not as strong of a connection I would say as to like my queer friends. Yeah. It's not like as immediate. No. Um. For me, I think I've had a crush on like one straight girl. Yeah. But I, I've been with a lot of people that I've been from a lot of people. I've been with a couple. I'm jealous. <laughs> I've been with people who I've been friends with first. I feel like that's especially common when you're younger because yeah. you're approaching things from a friend standpoint. Yeah. First, always because you're not as like confident to be like. Let me take you out on the town. And also, you know? you're not like on dating apps yet. Yeah, so no, like no. everyone you meet is like in You person. approach them from a platonic standpoint first yeah. usually. Or at least just like respectfully. Yeah. I think one of the most common questions I get on my videos are like, I'm in love with my friend. Mm -hmm. Do I tell her? Do I like risk ruining or changing the relationship? I feel mm -hmm. like that's like the biggest question. If you have a straight girl crush, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. If she's straight, of course, it's not gonna happen. Of course. But let's say you don't know, or it's on a queer friend. Mm -hmm. I think that's when you need to start doing some actual heavy lifting up here to yeah. see what is worth it. To you gotta know. make some choices, love. You gotta be doing a pro and con list. Mm -hmm. You gotta say, do I know this person? Do I know how they're gonna react? Is this gonna ruin the friendship or is it just gonna change the friendship? Yeah. And you gotta find a way to be so honest with yourself. Do I really think this could work out? And even if, even if it could work out, would you prefer really honestly to have a romantic relationship rather than your friendship that you cherish so dear? Obviously there should be friendship in your relationship if you yeah. choose to pursue that, but I mean, breakups can be really tough yeah. and there's no guarantee that you will stay connected to this person after your relationship ends if it does end. Mm -hmm. um, I think for me, when I had my straight girl crush, I, I did not say anything. Yeah. And I got over it pretty quickly, I think because I was just like, I really love spending time with this gal and I don't wanna make it weird for myself. Like yeah. even just like having a crush on someone and spending time with them, like I was feeling weird. Yeah. Because I was like, this isn't reciprocated, obviously. Like I know that she like loves me. Yeah. Um, but I need to get my love to like her level of love for me. Yeah. Um, and for me that wasn't like 
taking distance or anything. I think it was just like, she's not ever gonna see me for like, I guess like the real me. Like yeah. she's, it's just like different um, being in a relationship with another queer person. You yeah. Know? Well, I just feel like if you do have a straight girl crush, which not to say all friend crushes are, I just feel like a lot of them happen to be. That's a lot of what people DM us about. Yeah, and ask us about. And like, firstly, you have to respect when someone tells you their label or their sexuality, or you know this girl is straight. Like, think about those nasty, nasty men who are like, I can change you. You don't want to be like them. No. You do, not to ever compare queer women to men because it's just not, it's the, not same the same level. But all that being said, you never want to make anybody uncomfortable. You never want to make anybody uncomfortable. Exactly. Especially if that's your friend. Like, exactly. Like you don't. And I'm sure you're not. Like I'm sure. You're, I, I think that like it just is so all encompassing and overwhelming and special when you have a crush. Yeah. And I think you can still like honor that and be like, I still have like my little butterflies and like whatever, but I think eventually it will fade because yeah. it must fade if it's a straight girl. I mean, and also sometimes I think having a crush on a straight girl could be a kind of a gift in that you know you're getting rejected not based on True. anything you could change. Yeah. It's not like she thinks you're ugly. It's not like she thinks you're weird or yeah, girls like or you your personality is weird. Or yeah, it's just like it's she doesn't have the capability to like you. It's like asking a dog to speak English. Like you're just you're not gonna be mad at the dog because it can't have the vocal cords to make yeah. human consonants, right? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're like, you. I know you're watching this. You're like, buddy, the dog can speak English. No. No. She presses a button. She presses with a her button. Little paw. And that's different. That's completely. <laughs> that's a straight girl who kisses one girl and at a bar. And she kind of knows what it means. Like, yeah. I don't feel like Bunny is fully understanding. No this offense. Is very, wait, Bunny the no dog. Offense. Bunny the dog speaking English is a straight girl kissing like a girl at a bar <laughs> one time. And you're like, you don't know what it's like to be a queer woman. Although I will say, like, lots of the girls that I knew who were kissing other girls for fun ended, ended up, up being queer. queer. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're watching this, you know exactly who you are and I love you, girl. <laughs> now, if this girl isn't straight and you have a crush on her, that opens up a whole world of possibilities. Yeah, because then that's that's when you get to the, the actual decision making mm -hmm. of like, do I want to pursue this? I think the best advice when ever making any difficult decision is, my stepmom has always told me, it's what you can live with. If you think you can't live with the idea of not admitting your feelings, then you know you gotta admit them. Yeah. But if you can't live with the idea of potentially ruining a friendship, you know you can't and do you it and you need to get over it. I had a good friend who was a girl who I started dating mm -hmm. in high school and we really loved each other. Like we were very, very close at the time. And the relationship ended in sort of a sour way. Like it was, it was hard because I think I was like, we're better as friends and she was very heartbroken and I was heartbroken too, but like in a different way. Yeah. Um, and it took us like a while to like find our way back to friendship, but eventually we did. So like, even if, you tell someone, you start dating, maybe it doesn't work out, like you can still end it in a classy way and eventually keep your friend. Like I think there's something so special about queer ladies because yeah. we are like gentle with each other. Yeah. I feel like you really taught me this, but like Lauren has only ever dated people who she like wants in her life forever. Mm -hmm. Which I think is such a cool thing. Like I think when I was young and dating, I wasn't like thinking that hard about like the people I was letting into my life. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really beautiful to like start from a place of friendship. Yeah, and it's not even necessarily that I wanted them in my life forever, but I, I think it, I've just always dated people who I'm like, if this doesn't work out, I would still, ideally, in my heart, like to be friends with this person. I've never dated anyone that I had any, like, distaste for. Like, I feel like sometimes people are out here dating people they don't like. Yeah, I never, I never dated anybody I didn't like, but I, I dated people who, like, maybe weren't, like, the nicest or, like, the coolest, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, no. people who had traits that, like, I 
was like, maybe this isn't like the best trait, like most compatible trait with me. Yeah. Like I've never dated somebody who at the time I was like, you're, you're a bleep. You're a bleep hole. Yeah. I've never dated anybody that That's was a bleep really hole. That's really good. I mean, maybe like, I think I have dated one person. Yeah. That maybe just wasn't the nicest. Yeah. But like, was, I think it was more anxiety. I think yeah. it was more like, more like a shyness. Like maybe she came off like a little. Yeah, like standoffish dude. Yeah, shy, but, it, but it was just shy. Yeah, no, I get that. I think for me, the scariest thing in a relationship is if somebody acts differently towards you in private <gasps> than they do in public. Oh. Um, and I think starting from a place of friendship with somebody prevents that because you know how they're acting. You're with them in like a like a playful friend setting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just like scary to me. Like I feel like I've dated people who have been like, but they're so great. Like when when we're alone, but then it's like they embarrass me in front of everybody. Yeah, you know? yeah. Or there's like. You can't like cling to like one part of a person. Yeah. And that's why coming from a place of friends is good because you're like, I like a lot of things about you. Yeah. I will, I also feel like that can like go two ways, right? Like if you have a crush on a friend because like maybe they're flirty with you in private but then they don't want to show that to anybody in public. It's yeah. giving good luck, babe, chuck yeah. grown. That's odd. But you don't deserve that. No. That's weird. No. That's odd. If somebody wants to be all like flirty with you or cuddly with you in private, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. they don't mm -hmm. want to be perceived as being close to you in public, you deserve better than that. Yeah. Like move on. You deserve somebody <laughs> who wants like all of you all the time, mm -hmm. no matter who is around. Mm -hmm. You know, like obviously, obviously they're not gonna be making out with you in front of your parents, but like, like the idea that somebody could like get something out of you in private, but then be too ashamed to claim that they even want that in public. Yeah, I've had friends who have like situations like that and I'm like, I'm it like, breaks my why? heart. Cause it, yeah. like, you deserve somebody who wants 100% of who you are. Yeah, you're diminishing yourself. You're yeah. allowing, actually no, you're allowing somebody else to diminish you. Yes, exactly. Which is never a good feeling. Yeah, if no one in your life is telling you this, let these two women on the internet tell you that you deserve more. Yeah, I mean, even if it's like a casual relationship, like you shouldn't be hidden. Yeah. <laughs> like what, what is with, I think especially like as an adult, like sometimes when you're like a teen, you're not allowed to date, but you're still gonna date. Um, but when you're an adult, like what's with the secrecy? Like what is that for? Yeah. Nobody has to spend time. Like when you're in school, like you have a certain group of people that you have to spend time with. When you're an adult living on your own, there's nobody that you have to see. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Not even your family. So like why make it weird? Yeah. I feel like, like if why anybody is ever secret? treating you like that, feel free to be like honest with them about how wacky that is. Yeah. Like hey, if you want me like that, that's okay, but it needs to be public. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, unless, I don't know, unless you're also very secretive, I think we have strayed from the friendship I think being bit, secretive is like usually a response to something negative that happened like to somebody. Like, yeah, yeah, like it's, I don't know, like have a, I love a good like fun secret, and of course you don't have to like spill your guts to everybody. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. But I just think like, what are secrets for? Yeah. Like what? Anyways, this doesn't have anything to do with this. The we, this is a sidebar. We, we made ourselves upset this and we went. <laughs> we this went on a tangent. tangent. You should also try to drop some hints that maybe you like your friend. That's like <gasps> a pretty safe way to to test the waters. To test I've, the I've waters. had a friend do that to me, and me too, of course. And what I did, if I don't know, if you're watching this and you're like, I don't have a crush on a friend, but I know a friend has a crush on me. Dropping hints is good because yes. it kind of lets people test the waters in a yeah. very low stakes they way. They volley it back to I me. remember a friend a few years ago kind of like dropping hints that she had a crush on me and what I did is I acted painfully oblivious yes. in a way that I don't think it didn't hurt her feelings, yes. or at least. She, but it made she it clear very, that maybe you. That were I 
like was burnt. not considering her in a romantic sense. Yeah. And I think it was a very easy way for us to just like snuff that little flame. Yeah. Drop the drop a little Pretty hit. much immediately when you know for certain that somebody's not interested, it's much easier to move on. Yeah. I, I recently started talking about this. And you think about that if you like a straight girl. Yeah, I, t I started talking about this on my socials actually, just today. <laughs> socials. Um, and I already saw a comment that like really was like, I was like, this is so poignant and mm -hmm. so simple. Mm -hmm. And it was like, if back to the straight girls for a second, if you have a crush <laughs> on a straight girl, this person was like, the way I get over them is I just have them talk about their their actual crush in front of me. Yeah. That squashes it, right? Because yeah. you're like, oh, how could you like them instead of me? And that, I think that yeah. immediately helps to shift shift your own mindset of this person's not available. Yeah. Even if they're not dating somebody, their heart, their brain is, is with taken somebody up. else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was like, that's I really smart. That's super smart, right? Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. If you are only dating women and you're hearing somebody talk about a man romantically, like you you talk about that in such a different way. Like love is love, but like <laughs> I, I think it's such a different experience, like the way that queer people experience romance and even like all different types of queer people experience romance. So like hearing them, I think, talk about their crush is really smart because I think their brain thinks about love in like a different way, yeah. slightly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does. It does. Or, or which is just like a beautiful thing. You can also that ask your love friend in so many ways what they're looking for yeah. in a partner because if they start listing things and you're not even in the ballpark, then there you go. You didn't get a ticket to the show. <laughs> <laughs> go home. Then you're like, I'm gonna look for somebody who's obsessed with me or obsessed with people who have anything in common with me, maybe. Mm hmm. It's true because not everybody has a type, but a lot of people have certain things. I'm that begging they look Alyssa for. to tell me her type all the time, and she doesn't have one, and it it, it drives me. I, I'm like well, clawing at, least at the wall. Physical, like I feel like I have like a sort of personality type. Like I'm very drawn to like people who are smarter than me. I like me wearing my <laughs> Ivy League shirt. <laughs> I like like smart, and I'm very smart, but I'm just like I like academically smart people, and I'm not necessarily like into academics. Um, I like somebody really funny. I like somebody who has similar interests to me, which is why I end up dating a lot of people who are interested in comedy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think my, my needs have shifted. It's, it's not like about a type for me. It's like what I need mm -hmm. in a relationship and like how a person can fulfill that and how I can fulfill their needs. Like, I feel like the type of people who like me are like people who need to be like, I don't even know, like, like people who need a little help with like planning. <laughs> like, I was like, she's about to read me some way no. and I don't know how. I feel like people, I don't know, like I like somebody driven, but I feel like I also like drive people a little bit. You know what? And like, right, like I like, I keep my rhythm. I don't think either of us are type A or type B. No. I think we're like type AB. I don't even know. We're like type it. like C. <laughs> like it's just like a mix of both. Cause yeah. I feel like you're describing it and they're gonna be like, oh, Alyssa must be so type A. I'm Lauren's not. So type B. No, mm -mm. I don't think either of us. We both them. drive different aspects. Yeah. I just feel like, like when you talk about me, you talk about how I've like, like I feel like we both like shifted each other's worldviews in like different ways. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. If you have a friend crush, I am wishing you the best because mm -hmm. I know it's a complex situation to be in. Yes. And if you do think you're gonna tell them, I would just brace yourself, maybe have a plan for if they're reciprocative mm -hmm. or if they're not. Yeah. So maybe like have like a close friend who you're gonna talk to about it regardless. And maybe like, you guys can have a plan. You're gonna go watch rom-coms and eat ice cream and sob yeah. if it doesn't work out. But also if it does work out, that's exciting. Just yes. just know that either way. It's okay. If you ever get rejected, just know that it's never just about you. There are so many factors to account for that mm -hmm. don't include your physical appearance or your personality. Yeah. 
there are so many things that you don't know that you'll never be able to know because it's true life is very complex yeah i think that things tend to work out for the best i agree um and you will end up in the situation you're supposed to end up with and i really think the most important thing is that you need to be honest with yourself if yeah. you're good to continue this friendship if you're not if the friendship is the most important thing to you or if the relationship is yeah yes and one more thing is just going off of what Alyssa said I like how things are supposed to happen for a reason like it sounds corny as heck sometimes things don't work out and you don't even know that something better is right over the horizon I feel like so many times in my life I've been like heartbroken about a certain situation mm -hmm. like not even necessarily love like I'll have a horrible job yeah where I don't get into a program I want or I yeah. don't get into a club I want or whatever yep. and then I end up finding something that I wouldn't have had time for if that first thing worked out for or if I wouldn't have been available for mm -hmm. and then I end up being like oh my god I'm, I'm so, glad. so glad that that first thing I thought I wanted didn't work out because the second thing is so much better yeah I feel like that's like the best mindset to have when you're getting like the potential of like a letdown just know that sometimes a letdown it's it's not a letdown it's like a redirect that's beautiful baby Thank you. Well, I, I mean, I had to throw a pearl of wisdom at them after we tangented for about so all this. Much. So this was like, the thesis of this video was like, do, 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 do. it was like do signing our names or painting. Painting. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Yes. And if you have any tips for this, drop them in the comments yeah, below. Because I think this is a collaborative effort. Yes. Um, this advice that we get. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, if you are not subscribed, do what are you doing? Subscribe. Like this video. Comment now. Do that bell. Ding, ding, ding. You need to get post notifications because we're posting three times a week. Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday. Bye, bug. Bye, bug. Bye, bugs. Bye, bugs.